Hey guys, going on? Megan here. Energy is everything. If you feel like shit, you're never going to get stuff done, right? It sounds basic, it sounds simple, but you cannot underestimate how important waking up in the morning with maximum energy is, right? I don't care how good your training program is, how good your meal plan is, how good your daily routine is. If you wake up in the morning and you feel like shit, chances are the rest of your day is going to be shit. You're going to have a hard time with motivation, a hard time with getting shit done, a hard time training hard in the gym. So it is imperative that you wake up every morning with maximum energy. Watch part one. We looked at the top 10 uh, food-related, food or supplement-related ways to maximize energy levels. In this episode, we're going to focus on lifestyle factors, right? No one should wake up in the morning feeling like shit. In fact, one of the number one reasons why people give up and hop on TRT is because they feel like shit all the time, right? You'd be surprised. A lot of people on TRT are not even on because of muscle building or fat loss, right? They get on because they just want to feel better, right? And it's a shame that you guys are skipping the basics and going straight over to the steroid route, right? Focus on the basics first. All right, let's get started. We're going to use the basic Team 3D Alpha tier list. I'm about to nut best of the best all the way down to pure garbage. All right, let's pick in my random number one. Uh, obviously, lifting weights again. I'm gonna put that out, okay? Right, going to the gym. Believe it or not, I know, I know it's a chicken and egg thing because you need energy to go to the gym, but also going to the gym and lifting heavy weights is gonna increase your energy levels. But trust me, nothing wakes you up more than putting a heavy ass weight on your back and squatting for reps. Right, uh, it doesn't have to be squats. Could be heavy bench, heavy dips, pull ups. Doesn't matter, right? Lifting some heavy ass weights is going to wake you the fuck up, give you instant energy, which is another reason why I recommend training early in the morning as opposed to the, you know, to the evening, especially if you work, you have a busy day, go in the morning, it's going to wake you the fuck up, spike your dopamine, increase the blood flow to the brain, increase your noradrenaline, increase your adrenaline, and you're going to get a ton of endorphins, right? So lifting weights in the morning, very few things beat it. Next, getting sunlight. Again, I'm also going to put out, okay, very underrated. People really, really underestimate the importance of sunlight and vitamin D. I have I made a whole video about that about a year and a half ago. Check it out. Uh, it's called Sunlight is Anabolic, something like that. But you'll be amazed, not just through vitamin D, but all the different effects that just absorbing sunlight for at least 20 minutes a day. Again, it you know, depends on the color of your skin. The darker you are, you need more sunlight. But amazing benefits for your mood, your energy levels. Uh, even your serotonin production, right? It's another reason why during the winter, a lot of people are depressed as shit, right? Not enough sunlight. Same thing with higher latitudes and, you know, northern latitudes. People are always depressed, right? Because a big part of your melatonin serotonin pathway is uh, affected by sunlight, which brings us here to fucking amazing. Boom. Going for a walk, right? If you can combine these two, meaning going for a walk around the time of the day when the sun, uh, the UVB rays are just booming. So usually anytime between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., great i mean again you don't have to combine the two but if you can that's two birds with one stone but going for a walk is gonna maximize blood flow to your brain remember guys increasing your energy levels is basically two things right it's a lot of stuff of course but it's mainly two things increasing blood flow to the brain and obviously maximizing your dopamine pathways right so increasing dopamine noradrenaline and obviously adrenaline as well right and you get all of that with just going for a walk right 20 minute walk it doesn't have to be a run just get up in the morning right if it's hot take off your shirt and go for a walk Right? If you're in a city or, or you're fat as fuck, you don't want to take off your shirt, that's fine. But just go for a brisk 20-minute walk and you'll be amazed uh, at how high your energy levels will be when you come back. And I know, once again, chicken and egg, right? So people say, well, I need energy to go for my walk. Trust me. Even if you feel like shit, just going for that walk is going to make you feel 10 times better. Not to mention, you know, all the other benefits of just walking, right? We're too sedentary, guys. We are too sedentary to this society. We sit all day. A lot of you motherfuckers play video games all day. You're not moving, and you wonder why you feel like shit, right? You barely have any blood flow or optimum blood circulation, right? Get moving. And again, it doesn't have to be a long walk. It could be just 20 minutes. So going for a walk, 20 minutes, if you can combine it with, you know, absorbing sun at the same time, even better. Next, sleep. You guys, you guys already know I'm about to nut category, right? You guys know on this channel, I do not play with sleep, right? And this is something that would never change. The OG subs know you. Like, you've been subscribed to this channel for over 10 years. You know, I'm never going to go back on sleep, right? I have a whole video on that. Check it out. All the benefits of sleep, whatever. When it comes to muscle building, uh, motivation, energy, fat loss, strength, anything that you want to do as far as fitness or just improving yourself is going to revolve around sleep. A lot of you motherfuckers are sleeping seven, six, five hours a day, and you wonder why you feel like shit. The bare minimum is eight. For somebody who's working out, lifting weights, or has a job, or has a stressful life, the bare minimum is eight, right? That's not the goal. Keep in mind, I said the bare minimum, meaning if you're getting eight hours of sleep, that's just 
you barely did, right? Try to get nine to 10 if possible, especially if you're lifting weights, right? Because you guys, guys, working out is a stressor, especially if you're doing full body workouts, nucleus overload, high weekly volume, high frequency. What the fuck, guys? You cannot expect to recover from all that while sleeping seven, six hours. So again, you want to feel amazing in the morning, get some good night's sleep. Go to bed early, turn off the lights. Um, like I said, watch my video on sleep. Next, listening to music. Fucking amazing, right? It's so underrated. Once again, people like to just skip to drugs, skip to the hot new supplement when the basics work so well. I have different playlists for different moods, right? If I want to feel amazing, I have a whole playlist called Energy. It's literally called Energy, right? And I put all of my songs with uh, high BPMs, right? High beats per minute, right? Obviously, the more energy you want, make sure that the song high BPM. So I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's rap. I don't care if it's rock music. Uh, you name it. You guys know my, my music taste is weird as hell. I listen to everything, right? But that playlist that's called Energy, I only put the songs that make me go super sane. And and it's so random. I have Disturbed on there. I have fucking Nightwish. I have rap. I have you name it, right? I don't care what the song is, what the genre, as long as it gets my heart pumping. Some days I wake up, feel like shit, boom, press the music, right? Shuffle that bitch. Next thing you know, I'm up doing pull-ups, the nucleus of a load, you name it. Don't underestimate the power of music when it comes to increasing your energy. Next, cold shower. I'm about to not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, you want a quick burst of energy? You want to go from feeling like shit to feeling like a king in, like, less than a minute? Hop into a cold shower. And I know I made a video about that years ago. In fact, there's a video where I hopped in a cold shower and I was screaming like a little bitch. <laughs> but, guys... You don't even need to be in there for a minute. It could be just be 30 seconds of very cold shower in the morning. It will wake you up for the rest of the fucking day. In fact, this is like a nuclear bomb. So I only use that when I really, really, really need energy, right? Because trust me, this will get the job done more than everything else on this list. Your adrenaline levels are going to go through the roof. Your brown fat is going to activate. I mean, you, you're just going to come out of that shower feeling like a god. But be careful. It's very fucking painful. So this is my secret weapon right here. Next, yoga, right? So I put Dawson from Street Fighter here, right? Again, if you don't want to do yoga, same thing, stretching and meditating, right? I'm going to put that fucking amazing, right, guys? You're going to feel great. Uh, you only need about 20, 25 minutes. Right? In fact, if you want to do it for just 10 minutes, that's fine. Meditate and stretch. Meditate and stretch. That combination is going to revitalize you like a motherfucker. All right, you guys sleep on yoga. I know, uh, you know everyone thinks it's feminine and all that shit. Guys, fuck off, right? Do some goddamn yoga. You'll thank me for it later. Stretch your legs, stretch your back, stretch your, your 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 neck, your traps, every part of your body. Again, you're gonna increase blood flow, increase dopamine, release endorphins, and you're gonna feel amazing. Your whole daily routine should incorporate all of these methods anyway. Next, beating your I will put beating your meat at pure garbage, right? So obviously no fab, right? Watch my video on no fab. You guys know my, my view on semen retention and all that shit. Do not beat your meat in the morning, right? During the day is the worst time to beat your meat, right? You guys know my, again, you guys know my view on NoFap, right? I believe you should do it at night. You should beat your meat at night. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. One of the best ways to get a good night's sleep. If you have your girl, just clap cheeks. Um, but if not, beat your meat, go to bed. That shit would knock you the fuck out and allow you to sleep like a fucking baby. But in the morning, that's the last thing you want to do. You cannot beat your meat in the morning, guys. To be honest, I try to even avoid sex in the morning, right? Doesn't matter how horny I am because... Sexual drive, which is, is coming up next soon, sexual energy is one of the most motivating things, especially if you're a male. Guys, remember, we conquered the world because of our sex drive. Men built empires, won wars because the reward was some fucking ass. Right? You want to motivate a man? Put pussy in his face. So beating your meat in the morning is going to wipe that out. You're pretty much giving yourself the reward. That's so why if you beat your meat in the morning, you guys know this, you feel like shit for the rest of the day. Your prolactin then goes up. Again, watch my video on OFAP. I explain the signs and everything. But avoid beating your meat in the morning or during the day. Wait until you're done with your daily routine. Wait until you're done conquering the day. And after that, do whatever you want. Same thing applies to sex. I try my best to avoid sex in the morning. I only clap my girlfriend's cheeks after the gym, after my daily routine, after I'm done with doing all the important shit. And that brings us down to this one, right? Have a sex life, guys. I can't believe how many of you motherfuckers don't have a sex life, right? That should be one of your number one priorities. Everything that makes you better as a male revolves around having a healthy sex life. It's going to guarantee that you're active, that you exercise, that you go, you know, you socialize. I mean, everything that makes you improve as a male gets a boost if you have a sex life, right? You can't stay at home all day playing video games, right? That's not living, especially if you're, again, once again, especially if you're a guy. It is one of the most motivational forces 
for men all across the world. Have a sex life or, uh, you know, surround yourself with women or just put yourself in a situation uh, where you're constantly surrounded by beautiful women. Trust me, nothing will wake you up more than this shit, right? You're talking about, oh, I have low energy, I have low energy. Guys, think about it. You can do the experiment. You know how many times you're in the gym, you feel like shit, you don't want to, uh, you know, lift weights or you want to quit and then a fine bitch walks in and then out of nowhere you turn super saiyan? And you start hitting PRs and shit. I even made a video about that. The study that they done when the guys were, uh, were were showing hot women before lifting. And the three rep max went through the fucking roof, right? They started breaking PRs and shit. Why do you think that is? We are extremely horny individuals. And it's not a bad thing. I hate that society tries to make it seem like it's a bad thing. No, that's what makes the world go around. We stop clapping cheeks. The human race dies in less than 100 years, right? Humans will go extinct if men were not horny, right? So don't give me that bullshit. Our sex drive makes the world go around. You guys know I'm a history nerd. I can't, be, I can't even begin to explain all the achievements and all the, uh, all the great things that men have come up with in an attempt to find a mate. So use that as a source of energy. Use that as a motivational force to get shit done, right? So go out and about. Put yourself in situations where you're always going to be surrounded by beautiful women. Thank me later. And last but not least, right, again, I'm about to not make sure your testosterone levels are optimized. You guys know on this channel, year after year, I stress the importance of maximizing your natural testosterone levels. Keyword, natural testosterone levels. If your T levels are trash, you're going to feel like shit. Testosterone is evolved in way too many pathways that regulate your mood and how you feel. Your serotonin pathway, your dopamine pathway, increasing your beta adrenergic receptors, increasing your dopamine transporters. I mean, you name it, right? Lowering the threshold needed for your neurons to activate. I could go on and on. That's why when you were a teenager, you felt like Superman, right? Going through puberty. You guys know what I'm talking about. When we're going through puberty, we felt like kings all the time. Why? Insanely high testosterone levels, right? So make sure you're in a healthy range. I already have a video on all the things you could do to naturally increase testosterone levels. So check that one out. But that's it, guys. That's the list. This is how you maximize your energy levels as a male. And obviously, this applies to women as well, with some minor exceptions, right? So hope this video helps. Don't forget to join the Reddit. The link is in the description. See you guys in the comment section. All right, guys. Don't forget to like or share the video. Subscribe and hit the bell. And buy my HSP Nucleus of a Little Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nicholas of Lord. Or you could just buy this shit at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.